thou sowest in my right hand and the seven golden candlesticks. So, he's going to explain that to him. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches. And I remember explaining this to you, that the word um, used for angels here, uh, agilos in Greek, also could very well apply to human messengers. And that in this case, they were humans. They were humans. And first, um, understanding that they were, they were angels of the seven churches. And I explained to you, these churches were of people, and they were going to be getting the letter through their angel, who was going to be getting the letter from John. It had to be a human angel. Evidently. In fact, some translations actually use the word pastor because that word was also applicable to pastors of churches in the Greek. Because the pastor was God's messenger to that congregation. So he was seen as a gelos of that congregation. All right. So he says, the seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks which thou sowest are the, are the seven churches. So remember the seven candlesticks in the midst of which we had one like unto the Son of Man that was described for us. Now he tells us that those candlesticks were actually the churches. Now I want you to remember again, the stars in his right hand, he says, are the angels or the pastors of these seven churches in Asia, Asia Minor, which is, um, that place is present-day Turkey. And I showed that to you on the map yesterday. Okay. Now, with that in mind, it takes us into chapter 2. Come with your, come with your stuff, your Bible. Start listing out, call out the, the churches as they're listed. I want, you to, I want to show you where they are, where they are, um, or where they were in, in John's days. Pastor Titi is still looking for his own. Do you have it? Oh, no, 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 hold on. I'm going to tell you when. All right. Just so you know, you can have your bearing. Here is Jerusalem. Okay? Here is Jerusalem. Okay? In Israel. Just so you have your bearing right here. Now, this is Asia. Asia Minor, okay, here, and uh, I'll tell you who, 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 what this, what area this is today, in a second. But first, let's see what it was like in John's day. Okay, give me the countries, uh, the the cities, those Eph where those churches are, one by one. The see, first one, Ephesus. Ephesus, the Church of Ephesus. I've circled it here with a red pen. Ephesus is here. Number two? Smyrna. Smyrna is right next to it up here. That's where Smyrna is. Uh huh. Pergamos. Pergamos. You have Pergamos right over here. Mm hmm. Theatira. No, just a moment. Pergamum. Not Pergam Pergamum. Pergamos is the, is the Greek version. Pergamum is up here. Up here. That's where Pergamum is. All right? Yes, sir. So let's go again. Ephesus. Ephesus. Smyrna. Pergamum. Pergamum. All right? Good. And the next one? Theatira. Theatira is next to it over here. That's Theatira. Uh huh. Sardis. Sardis is next to Theatira up here. Mm hmm. Philadelphia. Philadelphia is right next to it over here. Uh-huh. Laodicea. Laodicea is 
a little southward here, right here. Okay, those are the seven churches. Now, this is Asia Minor. So he says seven churches in Asia. Uh, some people have tried to understand something about the seven churches, and they like to ask questions like, um, was it prophetic about the future? Was it, were they real churches? I'm showing you this just to let you know there were real churches in real cities at that time. And they were not the only churches in Asia. For example, there was a church in Herapolis over here. There was a church there. There was a church in Colossae right here. The boats in Asia. They didn't get any of those letters or any of those warnings from John. So, as a special message given to these seven churches, they were not the only churches in Asia at that time. I'm just, I just want you to know. They were not the only churches in Asia at that time. There were other churches. Now, when we start dealing with each one of them and, and uh, the letter that was written to them, you begin to understand why the Lord had to get their attention. Again, they were not the only churches at the time in Asia. At least I just pointed out two others to you that were there, didn't get the same letters. The Colossians that I just mentioned, right here, and yet we have an epistle from Paul to them, right here. And in fact, Paul did tell them to also send that letter to those in Laodicea. Okay? All right. Now that you've understood this, let's go to the next uh, map. I want to show you who's there now. This is the modern day map of the same area. Again, let me show you where Jerusalem is. Jerusalem is right here, just to get your bearing right, okay? Right here. Now, this is the area that had all those cities we just mentioned. Can you see they're all in one area? They're all in modern-day Turkey. They're all in modern-day Turkey. Look at that. So, at the upper area there, you have the Black Sea, the Aegean Sea, the Mediterranean Sea. So you can see all of them are in this place. Or where in this area years ago. Okay, so that helps you to have uh, some bearing to the discussion 